as you're arriving, you can just check in with that center line of your body. You can feel the shoulders and their relationship to the hips. You can feel the space from your pubic bone right in between your hip bones and feel that aligned with your navel, with your breastbone, with your throat, your nose, third eye center, and the crown of your head. Just to encourage that center line of your body. And it could also be nice to do a visualization of a string up and down your spinal cord. So feeling a string reaching from the crown of your head and going through the spine and out from your um, the root of your spine. And just gently pulling you in opposite directions so that you can feel yourself elongating your spine. And if you're in a space where you feel safe to do so, at any point you can allow your eyes to gently close. And you can mark your arrival to the practice with a nice big cleansing breath. Taking a slow and long inhale through the nose. Maybe holding that breath for a moment or two at the top and just experiencing what it's like to be full of air. And whenever you need to, slowly letting it go just as slowly as you breathed in and pushing a little bit more air out of you even once you think you're empty and just truly emptying yourself and pausing in that emptiness and just noticing what that's like. Allowing your next breath to come as it needs to. And you can do that a few more times if that felt good. If you feel like you need some more of that, go ahead. And at any point, you can release the guidance over your breath and just allow your body to breathe itself. Remembering how your body is perfectly capable of breathing without any of your guidance. Remembering how your body breathes for you every moment of your life. And this would be done with or without your acknowledgement. is starting to step back into the observer position in your mind. Where you can observe your body as it's sitting here, laying here, breathing, with your heart beating, and just observing the body just like you would any other force of nature. This is how you would observe the ocean and the waves rolling in or the clouds passing by. And just knowing there is nothing you need to change, there is no fixing you need to do, there is no way you need to be thinking. Your only job for the next 30 minutes or so is to observe. To witness. And it'll be natural for your mind to want to jump in and try to think or try to label or judge what you are experiencing or not experiencing. And just remember that that is also a part of the process. Is hearing when those thoughts pop up, when those opinions pop up, judgments. And as soon as you notice that they're there, you're automatically detaching yourself from those thoughts and you are doing the practice. You're coming into the observer. And just remembering that this is not a thinking process. There is no thinking that's required of you. There's no doing that's required of you. This is simply an energetic listening process. Just allowing yourself to come into the mindset of listening, of witnessing and observing. And you can start to bring attention to your forehead. And just allow all the muscles across your forehead to 
gently expand and soften and expanding just because they're softening. Feeling your eyebrows releasing any tension just because you're checking in. Simply by noticing the tension, you can soften it. And you can allow your eyelids to soften so that they are just resting over the eyeballs or into whatever position they're in. And it almost feels like the corners of your eyes are getting a little bit wider and like there's some space growing in between your eyelashes. Just by releasing all those muscles that usually scrunch when you squint. And maybe even squinting your eyes for a second just to really feel that contrast of scrunching and relaxing. And then allowing your jaw to fully rest and just hang into place. Trusting that you don't need to hold up your mouth in any position, you don't need to hold your face or your expression in any sort of way. You can trust that just by releasing the muscles in your face, you can soften and be accepting of the position that you're in, accepting of the muscles of your face and their natural resting positions. So as you're releasing the jaw, you can also feel your tongue soften. You can feel the inside of your mouth and the insides of the cheeks soften. The outsides of the cheeks and your nostrils your ears, your hairline, your scalp. And letting that softness continue into your chin, into your neck and shoulders. So that from your collarbones and up, you are completely soft, still, and just allowing your body to be exactly as it is. And then starting to tune into your heart center and noticing where your heart is located in the shape of your skeleton, in the shape of your shoulders. And then just allowing your heart to sit proudly toward the front of your body. Allowing your shoulders to fully soften down and away from the ears, feeling your neck elongating as the crown of your head reaches away and the back of your neck getting a little bit longer. And then just tracing the space between your heart and your brain. Just starting to tune into your own anatomy and where your physical heart is located and then just tracing the inside of your body from the heart through your throat and your neck up through your brain stem and into the brain itself into your mind just starting to awaken and recognize that connection that you have between your heart and your brain and therefore between your heart and your eyes and your ears, your nose, your mouth. And 
And then fully softening your arms and just allowing the arms to be exactly as heavy as they are. And letting all the muscles in the arms and the hands just ungrip from the bones. So that you allow yourself to feel the full weight of your arms and your hands. And then tuning into your heartbeat and just tracing that anatomy from your heart into your hands. Just remembering the physical connection of the veins and vessels that are connecting your heart into your hands. And then just starting to feel your heart beating in your hands, feeling that pulse in your hands and fingers. As you remember that there is an innate connection between your heart and your hands. And your hands have the power to create what it is that your heart would like. Your hands have the power to heal what needs to be healed. And then feeling your heart and feeling the lungs beneath your heart. And feeling the rib cage that's protecting your lungs. And just allowing your rib cage to almost hug your lungs and fully protect and soften and release. And each breath that your body takes in is just feeding and energizing the lungs and heart a little bit more. Just with life force energy, with the universal love that is always around you. And just allowing each breath that your body takes to be one of healing, one of acceptance of patience, understanding. As you fully soften the muscles in your stomach, in your lower back, and just feeling the muscles across the abdomen and the back, hugging the organs, protecting the organs. And each breath that your body takes is now traveling into the stomach, energizing all the organs here. And just allowing your stomach to be exactly as it is, not feeling the need or releasing the need to hold it in any sort of way. We're practicing acceptance with your stomach. Just trusting that your stomach is perfect exactly as it is, or else it wouldn't be that way. And trusting that all your stomach is asking of you is some love, some appreciation for all the organs that are in there that function for you every moment of your day, keeping you alive every moment of your life. And just remembering how much of a miracle that is, how special that is, how much of a blessing that is, that your organs work and that you are alive. And just noticing how your heart is also beating in your stomach. Your stomach has its own sort of heartbeat. And 
and just letting all of this softness and love and understanding, appreciation to just keep soaking into your body, into your hips, letting your hips totally surrender to where they're at, your pelvic floor, your glutes, this whole pelvic region is now able to soften into place. And any tension that was residing here will naturally dissipate just by you checking in, just by your curiosity. And feeling the legs, the upper thighs, and glutes the lower thighs, the knees, the shins, the calves. Just feeling the full length and weight of your legs, just like we did with our arms. And just allowing all the muscles across the legs to ungrip from the bones. And just a tiny bit of space forming between the bones and the muscles. And letting that continue into your feet and toes as well. And just noticing how your heart is also beating in your feet. Your feet and toes have their own pulse. Now just looking at your entire body in your mind's eye. Maybe your gaze is now peering up into the forehead in the space between the eyebrows. And maybe you can see the outline of your body and just how much space you are taking up. Just feeling this first general wave of softness, of acceptance, of peace, of love. And just start to see or just notice the ground beneath you, the physical earth that is beneath your body, no matter how far away you are from it, whether you're 50 stories up or sitting on the earth itself, or even underground if you're in a basement. Just noticing or recognizing the earth that is beneath you. And just remembering how supported you are by the earth beneath you. Your body is always physically drawn toward the earth just by gravity. When you fall, the earth catches you. And just starting to recognize all of the life that is in the earth around you, all the roots of trees and plants, all the bugs and animals that live there, all the life that is in the soil beneath you. That all just boils down to love. So just recognizing all the love that is in the earth around you and beneath you. And almost feeling that love from the earth Maybe even feeling the core of the earth, the fire that rests in the center of the earth, the heart of the earth. And just feeling all of that love and life radiating back up towards you. Just allowing your body to accept this love and support. Reminding yourself that you are worthy of this love and support. 
or else you wouldn't have it. And sometimes that is the only thing that gets in the way of us getting love and support is our own false belief that we are not worthy of it for whatever reason. We're just trusting that that is also a part of life. We will go through waves where we feel worthy and we remember what we are doing here and what our purpose is. And we will have times where we completely forget. But those times of remembering our worthiness and remembering the love and support that's always around us wouldn't feel nearly as good if we felt that way all the time. And it is exactly that contrast <clears throat> that makes it feel so beautiful and profound. So just having some patience and trust for wherever you are at in this process today and know that that changes all the time. So just appreciating wherever you are at right now. Knowing that that is exactly where you need to be. And as you feel the earth radiating love into your body, you can just start to feel the pulsing of your feet back into the earth, the pulsing of your legs and your root, the root of your spine, space between the sit bones. And just feeling the pulsing of your root, of your legs, of your feet, almost in unison with the earth. And the love that the earth is radiating into you, you are radiating back down into the earth. And it is this exchange of love, of appreciation, of patience, understanding. And you can repeat to yourself, I am safe. I am secure. I am deeply held and supported. And even if you don't feel those things right now, you can reframe those affirmations in more of a curious way. You can say, well, what would I feel like if I was safe? What do I feel like when I feel supported and held? Just rem reminding yourself that you know these feelings. You have felt these before. And sometimes it's really hard to remember what that feels like when we don't feel it. But just trusting that underneath all of it, you still feel that way. And now letting this love and support from your root naturally feed into your sacral space, so your lower belly and your sacrum, a few inches beneath your navel. This is our home of creativity, our goddess energy, our patience, and you can trust that you are innately creative. And creativity is not something that some people have and others don't. Creativity is a natural gift we were all given. And we just need to tune into it, tap into it in whichever way our soul is asking. Having a deep sense of patience with yourself on this journey. And maybe
maybe catching yourself if you hear yourself talk in any way that would differ from you talking to your best friend or someone who you love really deeply and noticing if you have the tendency to give yourself tough love and just catching yourself when that happens and reminding yourself that that doesn't work and Sometimes all we need is some patience and understanding and all those things that we give so freely to those that we love. So just retraining yourself and to speak to yourself in that same way. Just feeling the love, the support, the creativity and patience naturally feeding into your solar plexus located in the stomach about two inches above the navel. And this is our home of self-worth, our confidence, our self-talk. and our sense of worthiness and just trusting that you are innately confident in yourself you are innately worthy and all these feelings are just sometimes hidden beneath feelings of unworthiness and self-judgment But being so kind to yourself when you catch those feelings and thoughts popping up. Knowing that that is a part of this life for whatever reason. We have a lot of unlearning to do. We've all told ourselves false narratives throughout our lives. That we are not worthy until X, Y, and Z where we are not beautiful until X, Y, and Z. I just know that you are perfect and beautiful exactly as your maker made you. You would not exist today in the body that you are in if you were not meant to. And just taking this time to Feed those messages of love into yourself and being kind to yourself when you do the opposite. And just know that each time that you catch yourself doing the opposite or being extra harsh on yourself, that that is a step toward progress. That is a step toward awareness. And that is all that's being asked of you, is to just notice what you are actually feeding yourself, what you are spending time and energy thinking about. And remembering that that has a tangible effect on your life. So you can repeat to yourself, and even if you don't feel them as truth right now, framing it in a way of curiosity of what it would feel like and what it does feel like, that I love myself deeply and fully. I am worthy of all great things. I am confident in who I am as a person and I am beautiful exactly as I am. And just allowing all of this support, creativity, self-love to naturally feed into your heart. And 
just feeling your heart accepting all of these positive and uplifting energies from the core of your bottom three chakras. And your heart is naturally just feeding that love right back. This natural exchange of love. And remembering that your heart is your home of love, of compassion, of gratitude. Your heart is your connection to the infinite source of love, of compassion and gratitude. And your heart has the power to heal. Your, part, your heart has the power to create, to love. And love and creation and healing is innately patient, innately understanding, loving, kind, all the good things. And remembering that it is impossible for us to love anyone else or anything else fully until we love ourselves fully. We can only love others as deeply as we love ourselves. And sometimes that is a really tough pill to swallow. And that is okay. Some of the greatest truths are. And just channeling that patience, that understanding, acceptance, love. Just channeling that into yourself in this process of unlearning and healing and maybe even picturing yourself as a child if that makes it easier and just picturing the little girl or boy that's inside of you and just wants to do right just wants to make you proud and just having a deep sense of compassion for that child for you knowing that you always do the best you can with the information that you have. And that mistakes are a part of life and we would not learn all the lessons that we need to learn if we did not make mistakes. Having compassion with where you have been, with what you have done, with where you are and what you are doing and for where you will go and what you will do. And at the same time, having gratitude, a deep sense of gratitude for all you have experienced, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, the profound. Just knowing that it is all a part of this soup that is your life, that is your experience. And a goal of a meditation practice or a goal of healing is not to rid yourself of everything negative and bad, but it is to accept everything that is present, even the negative and the bad. And you don't have to be in a perfectly quiet place and feeling profound and wonderful in order to meditate. You can be wherever you are and however you are. And this process is just about showing up as that, as you. And being brutally honest with yourself about where you are in this process today. And remembering that it will change. And the more you practice, the more you can witness the different parts of you. The more different parts of you that you witness, the more you can find to love. And those parts of you that might be hiding in the dark, those need love too. Those need recognition. Those parts need appreciation too. 
and it can be very scary to uncover that darkness, but we're just shining the light there. And things don't have to be as scary when there is light shining on them. And the light is your awareness. So just by being aware of the darker parts of you, we can recognize and begin to heal, begin to transform. I am love, I am compassionate, and I am deeply grateful for this body and for this life. And just allowing the safety, creativity, self-love, and compassion and gratitude to naturally feed into your throat, your home of communication. This is our home of speaking as well as listening. Listening is an essential part of communication. And the listening starts with ourselves. There's no use in talking or speaking our mind if we don't first know what is there. So we must find these quiet moments where we can listen to ourselves and we can sort through what thoughts are even in there, what's going on inside of you. And once we know that, it's a lot easier for us to listen to others and learn and observe and grow. And this is our home of honesty, truthfulness. And we cannot be honest and truthful with others until we are honest and truthful with ourselves. We're just speaking words of encouragement, of love, of patience and understanding into yourself. And that is what will allow you to be that support for the loved ones around you. Just feeling the support, patience, love, confidence, truthfulness naturally feed into your third eye center, the space between the eyebrows. This is your home of intuition, and this is where you see. You see yourself clearly. Sometimes it's just covered up with some fogginess. But underneath the fog, you do see yourself. And you can tell yourself, it is safe to see myself fully for who I am. And before we even consider opening our third eye and trying to see outside more layers of reality, we must first close our third eye. We must first turn our third eye and our gaze inward. Because there is no use in seeing the outside clearly until we see ourselves clearly. It's just a reflection. So just reminding yourself that it is safe to see you in all the shades of you, your darkness included. And it is safe to see that underneath everything is nothing but love, is nothing but connection. And feeling the heartbeat in your forehead, feeling the power 
of intuition that you have. You are gifted this power, and it's always there, coming to you in the form of gut feelings or random thoughts or ideas or writing. Your intuition is always trying to help you out, always giving you little hints of what your next step is. As long as we take the time to look, to listen, to observe. And naturally, all of this love and energy and understanding from your bottom six chakras, from your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, naturally feeding into your crown, at the very tip of your head. And this is our connection to source, connection to spirit, to your maker, to your angels, guides, whatever word you may have for them. It is your connection to universal love. Just remembering that you were made for a reason. You are innately connected to all you have ever loved and all who has ever loved you. Your ancestors have lived so that you could live and they are proud of you. Your angels and guides are watching over you. They're supporting you. They're being patient with you. There's never anything you could do that would change that. And just remembering the miracle that you are, the fact that you can hear the words I am saying, the fact that you can see whatever it is that you see, you can smell what you smell, taste what you taste, feel what you feel. And the fact that your heart is beating, your lungs are breathing, your organs are functioning. And just coming into reality of how much of a miracle that is, of how special you are to be experiencing what you are experiencing. I'm just having a deep sense of gratitude and thanks for this body that is yours, for this mind that is yours, this life that is yours. And knowing that you can show your thanks and appreciation for th these gifts simply by how you live your life, simply by the messages that you spread, by the feelings that you give, by the work that you do, by the love that you give. And remembering that the love that is inside of you has the power to awaken the same love within others. And this is how we heal our world. It's by awakening our own love and just living in that love, living in that truth. And others will notice, others will adopt, they will remember themselves, their own power. And that will continue to spread. So that same patience that you have for your loved ones, the same patience you have for yourself, you must also have it for the world and for where we're all collectively at in this world timeline. Patience and trust. And knowing that that is really hard sometimes, a lot of the times. But all we can do is our best, and all we can do is try. So 
So just once again, feeling that center line of your body, feeling the space from your root through the crown of your head. Feeling all the energy centers that exist in the center line of your body and how they are aligned with love, with light, with source. And you can repeat to yourself the following affirmations. I am safe and supported. I am creative and patient. I am confident in who I am and I am worthy of great things. I am love. I am compassionate and grateful for my past, present, and future. I am honest while communicating with myself and therefore am honest with others. I see myself clearly and therefore can see the world around me clearly. And I am innately connected to source energy. So just allowing your body to settle, allowing your body and your cells to accept these messages and letting anything that resonated with you during this practice trusting that that is already inside of you that they are truths you've already known and that is why they resonate and anything that did not resonate did not click with you will naturally just fall away you can trust that you have taken everything from this practice that you were meant to. You heard this practice for a reason. And you will continue to heal and do good things, loving things with this practice. So if it feels natural or like something you want to do, you can bring your hands to a prayer position at heart center. And just once again, feeling the love that is in your hands, feeling the connection between your heart and your hands through the arms, but now also from your thumbs pressing towards your heart, in your heart lifting back towards your thumbs. And just fueling all this love just with recognition. And as you take a deep breath in, Feeling your body filling up. And as you exhale, allowing your head to gently bow. Bowing to your maker, your creator, whatever name you have. The energy that is allowing you to be here. Giving thanks and bowing to your angels, ancestors, spirits, guides the love that's all around you and beneath you, bowing to the earth, bowing to everyone else in this space for, for being here, supporting you throughout this journey, and most importantly, bowing to yourself, thanking yourself deeply for showing up, taking the time out of your busy life for this pure act of self-love and self-care. May this act continue to heal you through the rest of your days and nights. And may you bring the same love into everything that you do and to everyone that you see. Namaste.